and they have the end of the day sales receipt, and they're going to create like an end of the day sales receipt. But those deposits don't go, you know, don't come into the bank until days later, or the merchant services where they have batches, and they don't come in until days later. It'll also recognize that even though that was a sale, but let's enter some transactions here. So we're going to actually get some of these uh, forms actually on screen. So the first one we're going to talk about is a sales receipt. And a sales receipt is my, uh, payment in full at time of sale. So it's almost like a mini point of sale system if you think about it. Um, and I do have a client who actually has kind of a skincare center. And I have QuickBooks Online set up on her uh, iPads. And she's actually pulling sales receipts and has QuickBooks payments connected and has attached the swiper right to the iPad, and she is checking people out right there, point of sale. They don't get 30 days to pay for the massage, right? They're paying right now. Okay, so that was, it's a perfect use for a sales receipt. So she's collecting the money and ringing up whatever it is she purchased. So, or the client, or the customer purchased. So I'm gonna go into QuickBooks Online, and we're gonna work from the sales center. Here's, here it is live, and we're at all sales. On the top right, you can do new transactions. Well, how much is that worth? Exactly. I mean, all the time, you're not trying to fix things or try to explain things. Let the software do the work for you. More automation there. So this would represent a batch report or something from the American Express, let's say. So four American Expresses were processed today. It batched out at $2,500. Now, some of you might be asking, well, what if they took their fee? So uh, receive the payments in full mark all the payments on the deposit form, and scroll down. There's some extra areas down here, an additional grid, where we can actually pull the chart of account. And then the bank feed comes in about every 24 hours, usually while we're sleeping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so it comes in, and in the morning, there's all these new clear transactions. The ones that were pending yesterday are cleared today. They're sitting in the bank feed center for us to review and process. What's great about this on just a basic level is I don't have to go to the bank's website every few days and see what has cleared the bank.